They found a dirty thing on the roadside, but once washed clean, they would be surprised to find what it was. There are many creatures in Australia, as people often joke, they would rather kill you than hug you. But there was a farmer named Janelle who didn't expect to find one of these animals on her land, all covered in mud. Genial knew that she had to check her crops to see if they had survived the floods, or if they had all been washed away. The farmer was trekking on her land, but she encountered something very strange. In a thick mud pit, an animal lay there, seemingly motionless. Farmers cannot distinguish what animal it is because it is covered in soil and cannot distinguish its characteristics, but it is very small, so farmers know that it may be harmless. If she tries to approach it, it will not harm her. But when Janelle approached it, she realized that it was actually still alive. The organization dispatched a volunteer named Gavin Swan, who rushed to the scene as quickly as possible and dug out the injured animal from the soil. Gavin sadly discovered that it was a female wombat with almost no signs of life. Unfortunately, the most humane approach for a wombat is to let it sleep, as its injuries are too severe to fully recover or lead a normal life again. She was near a horse, but the animal's condition was still very bad because she was accidentally kicked in the head by the horse. This injury caused serious head trauma to the poor marsupial. Despite the injuries, the wombat still returned to its cave by the dam. However, due to the rainstorm, the ground around the animal's home has turned into wet clay soup. After several attempts to enter its home, the injured animal finally gave up because of fatigue and just lay in the mud. After euthanizing the wombat, Gavin was able to determine that it was actually a female. After discovering this, the volunteer decided to check the animal's bag to prevent babies from hiding inside. However, he did not hold high hopes because if adult wombats cannot survive, it is highly questionable whether the baby can survive. Gavin quickly took the injured little wombat out of its mother's bag and washed it as clean as possible. Later, the volunteers were surprised to find that it was a mother wombat baby. When he confirmed that there were no obvious scars on the baby, Gavin wrapped it in a small blanket and decided to name it Mudsy because when he found it, it was covered in mud. Once he returned to the shelter, Mudsy was given a comprehensive health check and found that it only weighed three pounds then, the little wombat was handed over to Lynn Auburn, the wombat coordinator of the International Animal Welfare Fund, who often rescued, recovered and released injured wombats and orphans according to the permit issued by the New South Wales Parks and Wildlife Service. The little wombat found her new home on her property in Kangaroo Valley, New South Wales. The little wombat stayed in her new home for 18 months and enjoyed every minute of it. She often plays with these two female wombats because she seems to enjoy being with them very much. She began to become more brazen, liking to try and steal any food, and in addition, Mudsy also liked to climb up any small claws she could get. All the employees and volunteers soon fell in love with this young wombat. Although the animal's life began to be sad, she was full of love and very friendly, and had a great time playing. Not long after, Mudsy was finally believed to be able to be released. She had reached a healthy weight of 52 pounds, or 24 kilograms, and had learned all the necessary skills for independent survival in the wild. The animal was released to some private land with a soft release system, providing a new fortress or natural habitat for the recovered animals to have a place to live when adapting to new environments and habitats. It also allows Mudsy to leave her feces at home so that other local koalas can adapt to it. Once it has fully adapted, it can dig its own cave, so that it can satisfy its preferences in a soft release area. This means that although they try not to interfere with the life of the wombat in order to adapt to their own life, if the animals find that outdoor life is too stressful for them or they are injured, volunteers will intervene and take them away. Volunteers can intervene and bring them back to the shelter to live a happier life. Fortunately, in Mudsy's case, the wombat seems to quickly adapt to her new home. She is happy to wander in her new environment, accustomed to all the new sights and sounds she discovers, and eventually gets used to her new home, so that she can be completely released into the wild. Once she leaves, Lynn hopes that the wombat can stay in the local area and even find a partner one day to give birth to her own child. 
Although she hopes that this time she can take care of her own child, thanks to amazing people like Gavin Lynn and all the other volunteers, these magical animals have the opportunity to have a second life. Although Mudsy's initial life was tragic, she is very happy to be able to create a new life for herself. This is such an amazing story, don't you think? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. A photographer was photographing migrating elephants. The scene was so spectacular that he wanted to record the wonderful moment that at this moment he suddenly found a strange figure among the elephants and was startled to take a closer look at it. What did the photographer discover? Timothy worked as an animal keeper in South Africa's Kruger National Park for several years. Kruger National Park is one of the most famous animal reserves in Africa. It is the largest wildlife reserve on the entire South African continent, stretching 400 kilometers from north to south and 70 kilometers from east to west. It has an area the size of Wales in the United Kingdom, with a total area of 20,000 square kilometers. Kruger National Park is home to many large species, including elephants, lions, rhinos, leopards, and buffaloes. There are about 12,000 elephants, 27,000 African buffaloes, and 1,000 leopards call this home among the many leopards. Of course, there are a variety of other wild animals. Why did Timothy work in Kruger National Park for so long? In fact, Timothy has liked to go to the park to see these animals since he was very young, even though he was very young at the time, but since then he has decided his future direction. In the early years, Timothy often wondered whether he would eventually become a biologist, an animal ranger or a park employee, and he chose the latter. Because in addition to taking care of animals, he is also a part-time photographer, he can record precious moments for the animals he loves. His life as a park ranger has been very fulfilling, as he hoped, he likes to stay with animals, and the natural environment gives him a sense of life satisfaction. He couldn't explain the feeling, but he knew he had always had a soft spot for animals. On this day, forest rangers were guiding a group of people through the wildlife sanctuary, and everything was going well as usual. When they sit back and walk around the park, everything looked no different from normal, the sun was at the highest point in the sky, and groups of animals continued to move around. Timothy, with a camera around his neck, was trying to understand the animals by observing their daily activities. In this park, in addition to his duties as a tour guide, Timothy was also assigned another task, that is, to investigate some animals in the park, study the activities and lifestyles of these animals they intend to collect these things on the basis of notes so as to help the park improve the living conditions of the animals and make their lives more enjoyable timothy carried his camera so he could observe wild animals while recording with images and the longer he spends time with them the more he loves them he also wanted them to be happy and more comfortable on that hot afternoon Timothy was guiding the tourists as usual, and suddenly he stopped because there was a herd of elephants migrating. He picked up his camera to record the moment, when one of his companions pointed to the middle of the herd, and following the direction of his colleague, Timothy noticed that there seemed to be some strange creature among the elephants. But from where they stood, it was hard to tell what it was. Timothy knew that elephant migration was very common, not only elephants, many animals will undergo regional changes due to environment, climate, season and other reasons, which is a normal behavior of the herd, but it is impossible for them to migrate with other creatures. Timothy continued his duties as a park guide, leading visitors in the area, and as they left, Timothy couldn't help wondering what the strange thing in the elephant herd was. But when he looked back, he noticed that the elephant had gone further. Timothy tried to convince himself that he must have seen it wrong, and he decided to forget about it. Timothy continued his patrol with the other rangers. That night, when all the visitors left the park, the weather was comfortable. Timothy stood in the park and could see all the residents nearby. He enjoyed the tranquility. Just as he was out of his mind, the elephants he had met in the afternoon came here, and this time they were closer than before, and Timothy could really see them clearly. As he had guessed before, they had migrated here, however, Timothy soon realized that something was wrong. The strange creature he had seen in the afternoon was not an illusion, but it was too unreasonable. 
As a park ranger who has been watching animals for a long time, Timothy knows the habits of animals, especially elephants, because elephants are his favorite, and he spends a lot of time around these huge and majestic beasts, they have a strong sense of territory and will never allow other animals to come near. But strangely, the particular creature was still playing with the elephant, and the elephant didn't seem to be bothered by the creature's presence. Instead, the elephants were trying to protect it from harm. Timothy was surprised, of course, that most of the time elephants were gentle giants, but it was unusual to find them playing with other animals, especially small species. Timothy decided to find out the truth of the matter. He slowly approached the elephants to avoid disturbing the animals. When he got closer, Timothy was able to see the creature very well. When he saw the creature, his mouth instantly opened wide, something he had never seen before. Timothy felt lucky to meet such a rare and magical creature. He raised his trembling hands, quickly grabbed the camera and began to shoot. Timothy has traveled for many years, traversed wilderness, and done all kinds of environmental protection work, but he has never encountered anything like this. Timothy played back the camera to make sure he recorded every aspect of the experience. It's one thing to encounter something so rare, but it's quite another to be able to capture it, and he'll probably never witness the miracle again. It was a baby elephant, but not a normal elephant, its skin was bright pink, very small, it looked almost morbid, even a little precocious. It is unusual to see pink elephants, although they are occasionally seen in Asia because this particular skin discoloration is caused by a disease that causes local skin and other parts of the body to lose pigmentation. This phenomenon is often mistaken for albinism, but in fact the two are not the same. While these pink elephants may seem rare and incredible, it means that their future is often challenging and given that the condition is caused by jet mutations, baby elephants are often affected, and they are often obvious targets for predators. Some herds rejected the existence of the pink elephants, which were banished or fled, making the discovery all the more shocking. Because this herd of elephants did not repel the newborn baby elephant, but protected it. When the baby elephant is playing on the grass, other baby elephants will walk over and play with it or observe the difference of the baby elephant. Timothy and his companions left the sanctuary and returned to their workstation eager to tell everyone what they had seen. Timothy happily shared photos and videos of this incredible sight, and even gave an interview to the Animal Center publication. He later told Carter News that he was very excited because it was something unusual that he had only heard of the pink elephant before, but it didn't end well. However, the baby elephant was playing among the beasts that loved and accepted it, and everything seemed so good, and he was very happy to capture this moment.